Welcome back to the Gary Sutton Show on WSBA with John LaBoulier this morning, tri-host of Political Insiders on Fox News Channel with Doug Schoen and Pat Cadell, both uh, Democratic strategists and also uh, a former congressman and also doing some really important work in Bangkok, Thailand and actually in Southeast Asia. But John, you know, one of the things I wanted to ask you for people who aren't really aware of your trips to Southeast Asia, what do you, you really are doing some great work over there. Tell us about it. Well, Gary, I, ever since I was in Congress, I stumbled upon an issue that has captivated me ever since, which is the issue of living American prisoners of war from the Vietnam War who were abandoned at the end of the war by the United States government through a simple but complicated little bunch of circumstances that took place in 1973. And these men, and there are several hundred of them, still held in captivity in both Vietnam and Laos. And I've been in Laos for the last three weeks, which is why I missed a couple of our shows together sure. on Monday mornings. And I apologize, because a week ago right now, I was in a meeting when your producer called, and I had to tell the guy the truth. I've been waiting all day to have this meeting at 9 at night right. in Vientiane, Laos, and I have to do the meeting. So I apologize to you and your listeners. Oh, and not a problem. My, not, my not a issue... Problem. Thank you, Gary. My, my issue is these men who are in their 60s and 70s now have been abandoned by the United States government. And it goes back to 1973 when we ended the war in Vietnam and Richard Nixon was president and he was started to go down the drain in Watergate. And he made a deal with the Vietnamese to pay $4.75 billion, with a B, dollars in reconstruction aid to Vietnam. And in return for that money, the Vietnamese were to give back all the POWs. Right. Well, it didn't work out that way. They gave half the POWs, guys like John McCain and Jeremiah Denton and all the famous ones that we've come to know, great men. They gave them back, but they kept an equal number behind as an insurance policy to guarantee that the U.S. paid the $4.75 billion. We never did pay it, Gary. Nixon went down the drain the next year in Watergate, and with him went the knowledge and the uh, will to pay the money. Congress wouldn't pay it, and we've never paid any of the money, and the Vietnamese have never given any of the men back. So I'm over here as a private citizen. I'm obviously not in the government anymore. I'm paying for it out of my own pocket, and I am determined to blow this issue open while these men still have a breath of life in them <clears throat> so that we could perhaps bring them home to the United States. And in the process, <clears throat> expose the lies by our government. Because that, to me, is the boogeyman in this thing. I don't blame the Vietnamese. We know what they're all about. We know what these two-bit commie countries are all about. I, that, 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 their behavior doesn't surprise me. It's my government, under both Republican presidents and Democratic presidents, has, is corrupt on this issue and probably corrupt on a lot of other issues. So, you know, what what have you been able to do so far? Is there any movement anywhere there? Uh, what, what are you Oh, doing? yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's good. I, I think it's a solvable problem. And if... Uh oh! Someone's having a birthday here at dinner, and you're going to hear the music. They're going over to the table. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sign that says "Happy Birthday," and I got a guy playing a saxophone. It's funny. Got it. It's a little different than the streets in New York City, but um, I think in 2015, because it begins a week from Thursday, I think this issue may blow in the new year. I, I really do. I think there's a will to do it. And I feel pretty good about this trip. I've made a lot of these trips in the last year and a half. I've been over here, I think, eight times. Eight times. All paid for by moi. And um, <laughs> and I've been able to run back and forth to do the TV show and mostly do shows with you and all. And hopefully we'll have something good to talk about in January or February. Hopefully. Well, it would be great to hear that. And, you know, that's something a lot of people aren't even aware of, John. And it's, and, and it's laudable that someone's staying on this, as you obviously have chosen to do. Um, and it would be great to see the rest of these 
uh, men come home. I mean, obviously, it's it's incredible, and I think most people are sitting back going, really? There's still people there? They don't know. They don't know, they don't know because the media doesn't cover it. There's no coverage. hasn't been for decades. Uh, the politicians don't know. They don't care. And uh, I think that, you know, I, I'm in the business on TV of political analysis and political predictions. And I think this thing, if it does happen, big if, but if it does happen, it will be the biggest political scandal of our lifetime. Wow. Because what it will show is that the U.S. government knew all along, or parts of the U.S. government, CIA, DIA, that these men were there. And for whatever reason, like one lie begets a bigger lie and a bigger lie. Over time, it was decided we just can't afford to blow this thing open and bring these men home because the damage to major political figures. I mean, I'll give you one. Who was the head of the CIA at the end of the Vietnam War? I think it was first George, George Bush. Bush. I was going to say first George H.W. Yeah. yeah. And he's dirty in this thing up to his eyeballs. Wow. And I've talked to Bush about it, and he's dirty, dirty, dirty. And so th th there's one reason, why the way, why one major political party doesn't want the truth to come out, because it takes down this big political dynasty that runs the Republican Party. Do you and the same thing on the Democratic side. The, the Democrats are just as bad. Now, you know, you're gonna, if what this would, would break, you would get all kinds of pressure from those two groups, don't you? Well, they can't pressure me because yeah. I'm a private citizen. I don't care about them. I, right. care about, I only care about one thing. I care about the truth coming out because I believe that the truth is needed to cleanse a corrupt Washington, D.C. I think our government is corrupt from top to bottom. I say this as a conservative. And the best thing that can happen to it is a huge mess like this to come out. It'll be bad for a while. It'll be awful for a while. But in the long run, we as a society, unlike every other country in the world, we fix our problems. Yeah. We do. We take a little too long, but we do fix it. John, and this thing needs to be fixed. Yep. We appreciate what you're doing there, man. I, You know, be, be safe coming home. Now, we'll be with you again next Monday morning, right? Um, I'll be home tomorrow night, Tuesday right. night in New York. Well, New Christmas. I'll be, I'll be ready to do 9 o'clock Monday. Well, most importantly, uh, before... A couple Mondays, and then, I, then I may be coming back over here again. Well, listen, before uh, yeah. I lose, the, lose you here, Merry Christmas and a, and a very Happy New Year. Obviously, I'll tell you Happy New Year next week, but uh, Merry Christmas to you, and appreciate all you're doing there for these forgotten men uh, of Southeast Asia. So thank you so much for taking the time to be with us this morning. Get back to your dinner now, okay?